There are no swimming tests for dogs as such in this country yet. I mean, maybe there will be in, in, in times to come, but we set our own tests for him, i.e. He, he had to be able to swim out through at least two foot of surf. He had to be able to swim a certain distance uh, with one of us swimming as well. And, but he, I mean, he'll swim all day long anyway. They, they're renowned for the swimming abilities, these dogs. Well, we've trained him up to, to recognize when somebody is panicking and shouting for help and waving. Um, when he sees somebody uh, in this manner, he'll, he'll go straight into the water right away and swim out to the casualty. We've got a harness on him when, he's de when he comes down to the beach to do these duties. Uh, and onto the harness, we'll attach a Peterson tube or a buoyancy aid. And he'll go out into the sea with this on, swim out to the casualty. Rather than go straight to the casualty, he'll go around the casualty bringing that tube close to them. And when he feels the weight of them clutching the tube, when he feels that weight come on, he knows then that he's got to turn around and head back for the beach. And he does it remarkably well, I must say. Bill has really helped us um, just just uh, getting our message across because our job is 90% education. It's not all about just going and doing rescues, and we're continually, you know, telling people, going around, asking them they're aware of the flag system we operate on the beach. And see, that's where Bill is really good because he's got he's got all the information written on his jacket. And once we get the message across to the kids, that's it. The kids are telling their parents, they're telling their relations, brothers and sisters, and it's just been probably the easiest summer we've had for educating people really with him in the team. And I just had this idea that if I had a safety jacket or a, a jacket made for him with safety messages on it to, like, for people to swim between the red and yellow flags and such like, that people would take far more notice of him than they would of any sign. This is Bill Bear, he's three and a half years old, he's 12 and a half stone, and he's a big Newfoundland swimming dog. And he's here to tell you to swim between the red and yellow flags. That's what it says on his coast here. So we're all going to make sure when we go in the sea we swim between the red and yellow flags and then we'll all be safe, yeah? We're going to put him in the sea for a little, uh, for a trial in a minute down there. See if we can uh, do a rescue. So if you want to see him, 
come down there in a minute and we'll put him in the water. I saw him going in and uh, after the, the, one of the lifeguards that had gone in for a swim and going out with a float. And it was interesting how he swam round him and then come back so he could grab all the floats as he was coming back in. I thought it was very good. Must take a lot of time and to train him up. They can be trained well enough and uh, can deal with all the situations that nature might throw at them. I think, uh, I think, I think it's a great idea, yeah. It's, the floodgates have kind of opened now and there's been a lot of interest in Bilbo so I don't think it'll be too long before you know, other countries in the world, say Australia, start to, to cotton on. I wouldn't be without him now at all, no, well, I couldn't, even though he does slobber a bit as you can see.